my name came alive At the same time I play my soul got mad Now, Literally I would live lonely inside On the physical side all my miracles die 2012 guess that plan go well Out my shell still I'm living in Inside the Show with Justin Allegri. Great Sunday action lies ahead, but first, here's what happened in the major leagues on Saturday. Starting in the AL West, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim allowed only five hits in the game as they defeated the A's in Oakland 6-1. to one. In other athletics news, starting pitcher Paul Blackburn is currently listed as day-to-day. -day. He's dealing with a pulled muscle in his leg. The Padres totaled 13 hits as a team as they blasted the Astros 10 to 1. The Rangers relief pitcher, number 67, earned the third W of his season, leading Texas to victory over the Mariners 5 2. Reese Hoskins really cashed in at the dish with three hits and six RBIs, helping lead the Phillies past the Rays 11 to 4. The Miami Marlins had 12 hits as a team as they took down the Red Sox on the road 8 to 5. The Baltimore Orioles knocked out 10 hits as a team as they beat the White Sox on the south side 7-4. The Toronto Blue Jays combined to give up just 5 hits as they beat the Tribe in Cleveland 5-4. The New York Yankees put up 16 hits on the day as they took down the Tigers in Detroit 5-2. Miguel Sano needed only a triple to hit for the cycle, leading Minnesota past the Royals 4-1. He is currently among the AL leaders in on-base percentage. The Braves launched three home runs as they took care of the Mets at City Field, 8-5. The Nationals set three balls into the seats as they got the best of the Brewers at home, 5-0. The Cubs hit three long balls as they grabbed the win against the visiting Reds, 4-3. The Rockies racked up 11 hits as a team as they plundered the Pirates, 6-0. The Cardinals knocked out 12 hits as a team as they got a road win against Arizona, 6-1. Corey Seager grabbed four hits overall in the contest as the Dodgers defeated the rival Giants 6-5. He is currently among the NL leaders in batting average. That's all for today's show. See you back here tomorrow. Have a great day. Afternoon in Northern California, MLB The Show has baseball from the Oakland Coliseum. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Oakland A's. A's baseball is on the air. Next. Mike Fires will be on the mound for game four. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy's had a really solid season. And what shows me that more than anything? Solid three to one strikeout to walk ratio. And if he continues to do that, he'll pitch really well in this one. Here's the shortstop Leading now, Jose Iglesias. As we take a look at the, the splits shortstop. between April and May. Iglesias. First offering on its way. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Maddie, this series has been a little bit of back and forth, dropping the first one, finding a way to battle back, and then dropping the third one of this four-game set. Let's see if they can find a way to tie this rubber game. You know, Dero, this is one of those, if you could win game four of this series and walk away with a split, you almost feel like you won this series. This is a big one here today. Yeah. So one out and nobody aboard. And that'll bring in the left-handed hitting John Jay. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball too high to start him out here. 1-0. and
Bases are empty, one man out. A 2 0 count to the Angels' left fielder. Altogether, a fine afternoon for baseball. 66 degrees, the game time temperature. The 2 0. Two balls and a strike now. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Again, another foul ball. Tried to hold back, but this is popped up. And there's the second out as he squeezes it in the coach's box. Now at the that plate, hurt. here is the David Fletcher. Base. He was not David. much of a factor at the Fletcher. plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. And he falls behind now, 2 0. Like to see him be looking to the opposite field with this next swing. Pitcher's trying to work you away. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner. Two and one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Piscotti's there for it. He handles it easily, and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. Angels nothing. A's coming to bat. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Jose Quintana gets the ball for the Angels in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, thanks, Matt. Lefty Jose Quintana taking the bump right now. Really like this guy. Not overpowering, but great command of the fastball. And he does something a lot of lefties don't do. He'll come in with that fastball to right. He's three-pitch guy. Fastball, curveball, changeup, throws all three for strikes. Not an overpowering guy, but he is really a control artist. These Angels, as they enter play here this afternoon, fellas, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, five and three in their last eight games. Yeah, thanks, Matty V. Hey, you know what, D-Row, this is one they'd like to win right here. They win the first game of the series, drop game two, win game three. They'd like to keep the momentum going here, D-Row, win two in a row and win three out of four in this series. Yeah, you want to definitely get a chance to win this series today play good baseball you don't want to go on that seesaw we'll give you one we'll take one they need to figure out a way to get it done today down low and the plot thickens here three and oh yeah a little wild here early on doesn't look like he's totally settled into the game yet hopefully he can find it soon now the three and oh offering is looked at for the first strike. And he fouls this one off. And it's fouled away. The payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 to punch him out. One away. One thing to know is not all strikeouts that are created second. equal. The right there, baseman. he goes down on Go strikes, man. but he really made that yes. guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. Tony Kemp's at the plate now as he looks at strike one. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. I like that he tried to tie him up inside on that pitch, but it was a little bit of a risky situation because if you're off just a little bit, 
you can end up plunking a guy. That's the last thing you want to do when you've got a guy 0-2. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely third. lost at the plate, the third base flailing base. all over the place. Back. Now that's his sixth Step strikeout in. of the series. They've really got him figured out. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Two out, nobody on. And that misses two and one. Back to back strikeouts in the first right here. Pitcher is setting a tone pound in the zone. A bouncer to the left side. Iglesias is there. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. A's are gone in order. We are still scoreless. Second inning set to go, and that'll bring up the dual threat of Shohei Otani. The designated hitter. First pitch on its way. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 2. Now here's the pitch. Back up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two strike approach right there, made a nice two strike adjustment. At the plate, Jared Walsh. Swing and a little tapper. The batting average clearly not where he wants it to be. Six home runs and 15 RBIs. And that misses one and one. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. Two, two balls and a strike to the Angels' first baseman. Otani on at first. Nobody out. Three and one now, and I think he wanted to know where that one was. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Ani pops it up, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt, but he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. In now, Kurt Suzuki. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Fires pauses. 1-0 on its way. Well below the knees laid off on the changeup there. 
Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Two well count the pitch. Three ball, no strike. In there, three and one. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. No score here as we play inning number two. And this is foul tipped at the plate right off the arm of the catcher behind the plate. Ouch. And he misses with that one for ball four. So that'll put runners on first and second now with one away. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Here's Dexter Fowler now. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He'll come in with an average down to 230. Five homers and an even 20 RBIs. Two and oh now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Hitters count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. He's really going to need to keep the walks down in this start. He's in danger of walking the second guy in two innings here. Here it is on 3-0. and oh. A high fastball is in there. 3-1 and one with 2 on, and this is where you, you got to be geared up for something to drive. I don't think you can just groove in one right here. You still have to try to make a competitive pitch. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Runners are at first and second with one away. Swing and a miss, and they come back from a 3-0 count to sit him down on strikes, and there are two gone. Big strikeout for the second out there, but he's not out of it yet. You'll see if he can feed off that cave, wiggle out the jam, and keep this game tied. So Joe Adele bats now. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Oh and one count, the pitch. One and one. Hit out towards second. And the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. Angels strand a couple. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. 
Matt. Olsen. Now here's the first offering. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swung on and missed that strike two. You could tell by the hitter's balance after that swing that he's seeing the ball really good. His timing is right there, and I expect him to catch something clean. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Into the windup and the pitch. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Again, a one two. Nope, up there. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Full count now, three and two. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. He's got it. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Batting pitch. The center fielder, number 22. Next up, Ramon Laureano. And you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd, oddly enough. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And a curveball in for a strike. That's a tough pitch right there. Curveball kind of front hit. Your first move is to bail a little bit, kind of not want to get hit by that pitch. I can totally understand him taking that first strike. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And they'll try to bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 now. A uh, great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start. That I'd say it. he's off to a good start. How about the hitter. first five batters Mark. he's faced? Three of them he Fair sent enough. down via the strikeout. So now it's Mark Canna. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball, 1 and 0. The average sitting at 297 here to start things out. Four home runs and 16 RBIs. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 and 0 now. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And that is in there for a two out base knock. You know, Dero, it's not always easy to hit in the day games. First five hitters, five up, five down. Six hole hitter, though. He must have gotten a good night's sleep last That's night. That's exactly where I was going, Dan. First five guys in the order looked like they were still asleep rolling out of bed. Those day games will creep up on you. Six-hole guy was locked and loaded. Into the box, Seth Brown. No balls in one strike. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Great arm action on that two strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a little blooper to center. Iglesias over to his left, and he makes the play to end the inning. The A's strand one and move to the third with no score. 
I'm in my zone now. Money don't slow down. I'm grown now. Yeah, I'm on now. I'm dropping the And now here is Taylor Ward. Off Day off game. for him yesterday, the but back base. out there for this Number one. Three. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. Dan, after that base hit right the there, he's got a six-game hitting streak going. You know what? And this could be this could lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it, as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. At the plate now, Jose Iglesias hit back up the middle. Andres to his left, he's there. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. The left In now is John Jay, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And now the first pitch. And that's in there for strike one. No score here, but a potential run is 90 feet away with one gone. To short. Only play is going to be at first, so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game. Good the manufactured run two. right there. Lead off double, move David him over with the ground Fletcher. ball, and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. Next to hit is David Fletcher. First pitch coming, here it is. Yeah. Fastball over the outside, but in there for a strike. What a well executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Now a foul tip held on to behind the plate. Nice work there to get the punch out, and the inning is over. So one run here on one hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Angels one and the A's nothing. The Athletics due to hit here in the third. They're looking to get some momentum going with the bats. This is a group that has had trouble doing so all season long. Case in point, they currently rank last in the league in team batting average and on base percentage. On that note, one of the hitters told me, I'd be lying if I told you it isn't frustrating for everyone. We're all really competitive guys in that clubhouse, so to be where we are is probably keeping some guys up at night. Sounds like a group looking for answers, Matt. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Athletic. The right field. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. Just one for ten in the series coming in, so he'll look for better results here today. First offering on its way. Down the left field line and deep. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Hard on the ground towards short. And a good throw he gets got. him one gun. Batting gun. The In at the plate is Sean Go Murphy. On. He was one for four with a two-bagger in yesterday's game. First delivery to him. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything over the heart of the plate, probably got to pull the trigger on. One out, nobody on. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. Now batting, shortstop, Elvis, Andrews. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Ready to deliver, here comes the first pitch. Fouled off. And 
Andrus in an 0-2 hole okay. here. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull the trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Iglesias is up with it. Over to first, and that retires the side. One, two, three, go the A's. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the dual threat of Shohei Otani. Shohei. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Fouled away. Sergio Romo is forced onto the mound now following the injury. Number 54. Sergio Romo. And he misses there. One and two. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. Swing and a miss on the slider and that's out number one. Time now for the A's road to the show report as we get a look at a couple of guys making some noise in the upper levels of the minors. Plate now, Jared Walsh hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Loriano is back to the warning track and he's able to put it away for the second out. Now that was a tough play, so let's take another look at it with Show Track. He seemed to get a solid read off the bat, took a good angle at it, and he covered over a hundred feet to make the grab. And I'm sure he'll be getting some high fives for that one. Stepping in now, Kurt Suzuki. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Head to head numbers against Sergio Romo, just a one for nine. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Pops this one up. Olsen into foul territory, and no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball. Not a bad pitch two there strikes. with two strikes, but it misses one and two. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Yank the slider across that time, laid off for a ball. Boy, went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and the next thing you know, this count stands at 3 and 2. Now the payoff pitch home. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there, as this isn't even close for ball four. Two ways to look at this walk. If you're the hitting coach, you say, that's a great A B. Down 0 2, and you work the walk. But if you're a pitcher like me, that's just a case of letting a guy off the hook, and that can really frustrate you. Digging in, the switch hitter, Dexter Fowler. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First delivery to him. Strike taken up in the zone. 
You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0-0, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. Behind 0-2 now. Fowler behind the ball and two strikes. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Working for the punch out and the offering. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Angels leave one, but they're on top one to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Leading and striding toward eight. the plate to hit next, the Tony Kemp. Tony. Yeah. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. The 1-0. No. Makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. This is on the ground over to first. Scooped up. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. And that will bring in Matt Chapman. Comes into this at bat. 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Back goes Jay into the concrete staircases and gone. A solo shot here to left. Home run number nine on the year. And the A's are back to even now. It's one apiece. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. Now That'll Matt. bring up the power Perfect. hitter, Matt Olson. Matt. Pulled high Olson. in the air out to right field. Fowler on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And up next will be Ramon Laureano. First offering on its way. A ball and no strikes. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Jay has a read on it. And he makes the catch to retire the side. You better be happy. But a run scores in the inning, and that'll have to be good enough as this solo home run knocks things up. We're through four, all even at one apiece. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels' offense with their manager between innings. And flat out, he told me they just need to put better swings on the ball right now. They're struggling to drive the baseball into the gaps right now as only one of their hits has been for extra bases. That makes it pretty tough to generate runs. But he said it's up to everyone in the lineup to make the necessary adjustments. It hasn't gone Your their way to this please. point, but that shouldn't now mean they can't put together the some great swings the rest of the way. Number 41. All right, thanks, Trevor. Heidi. Trevor Rosenthal is on his way to the mound, and this is a rather curious move to bring on the closer in just the fifth inning. Leading off of the 
the center fielder, number seven, Joe Adele. First pitch of the A.B. now. Down the left field line and deep. And it's a foul ball. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. And it's one and one. Looks like a right hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. The one one. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a Number nice three. effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. Standing in now, Taylor Ward. As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. High in the air down the right field line. The Scotty's on the move. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now batting. So the batting order turns over now Jose. and set to go. Jose Iglesias, no hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. First pitch of the AB on its way, inside and that's inside for a ball, one and zero. Oh. Pretty good pitch right there, fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now a fastball runs inside and drills him. Oh, that's got to hurt. You know, with two outs and nobody on, that's well, the last thing you want to do on the mound. John. That really gives the opposition yeah. some hope that they can do something with this inning. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring in the left-handed hitting John Jay. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. A one pitch on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. Throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Angels strand one. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I talked to manager Bob Melvin during the break about his thoughts on the ace hitters to this point. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. Too much of the time they're finding themselves in disadvantage counts like 0-2 and 1-2. And that's basically never a formula for success. He said they're getting a lot of strikes to swing at. So the emphasis the rest of the game has to be to jump on those strikes early in the at-bat. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Leading off for the A. Set now for the bottom the of the fifth. Hitter. And digging Mark. in is the veteran D.H. Mark Hanna. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. And oh, he can't get out of the way of that one. So the leadoff man will be on to open the frame. Anytime you're battling and the score is even, you've got no to get on field. base to manufacture yeah. some offense. He'll take that wow. every day of the week. Now into the box, Seth Brown. From the belt, kicks and deals. High in the air into shallow left center. Jay has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. One out, now runner down. at first. The and up field. next, the outfielder, Stephen Piscotti. Piscotti. 
Has a look, now the pitch. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. One and one. Kenna, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Stepping in next, Sean Murphy. It hit hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at 1-1. One one. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order, and we just saw three in a row. Now the one and one pitch is strike two swinging. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. One left for Oakland. We played five full tied at one aside. And now for the Angels, David Fletcher. No hits to this point. David Fletcher. First offering. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. The 1-0 is a slider that backs up for a ball. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Here it comes. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. One. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Fastball is taken for a strike and he runs it full three and two. Looped out toward third. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. One for two. He singled and struck out in two trips. He's set and the pitch. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Woo-wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. This is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. That's a pretty unique pitch sequence, guys. Usually pitching is all about mixing pitches and location, but he threw that all up the window to get that strikeout. He offered the same pitch three times in a row, so I guess he sort of used that reverse psychology to outthink his opponent. 
So now to the plate, Jared Walsh, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Here comes the 1-0. Outside, that's ball. Three and oh now. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. And this one misses high for ball four and they have themselves a two out base runner. Well they were obviously pitching around him there and I don't blame them. With the bases empty and two outs and a hitter of this caliber at the plate make somebody else beat you. Digging in will be Kurt Suzuki. Two hits and eight tries for the series. First pitch on its way. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Walsh, the runner at first with two gone. And he falls behind 0-2. High and deep down the left field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Loriano retreats to the track and he'll put this one away. So a sigh of relief as the side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Shortstop, Elvis Andrews. Here it comes now to Andrus. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. 1 and 1. A ball and two strikes now. You know, I think that curveball in the previous pitch had him thinking about getting another one because there's no reason he shouldn't have had a big rip at that fastball. That was right in every hitter's happy zone. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Andres is retired, and there's one away. No matter, number five. Second Next man. up is Tony, Tony Kemp. It's been an 0 for 2 yes. effort for him to this point. First pitch on the way. And it's fouled away. On he pops it up. Ward trying to get there. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. Throw into second. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing. But hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. Into the box, Matt Chapman. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Wide 2 and 0. Oh. If you're in the box right now, you got to wait him out. He obviously does not want to come see you with a fastball. He's been nibbling this hole at bat and just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. From the stretch, 
Got himself a 2-0 fastball there, but he couldn't connect 2-1. and one. He doesn't have a big fastball, but he was able to get that pitch by him. And Matt, that's 100% a result of setting up with the off-speed pitches before it. If you're not a hard thrower, you could still have some success, but you have to learn how to mix speeds and set everything up. That was a nice job right there. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Count remains full. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. And he loses him on a breaking ball. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Now the first pitch. And he takes ball one. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1-0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. From the stretch. Ball two. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Two and one to the A's first baseman. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Ready with two balls and a strike. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly to Iglesias for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. One pitch, two outs. A pitcher's best friend in the inning. We're back with more on a Sunday afternoon following this. Lou Trevino will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Number 62. Into the box, Dexter Fowler, third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. And the pitch. Ball one, no strike. One and no pitch on the way. Turned on down the line. A dive. He's got it. Touche, sir. In now, Joe Adele as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. One run, two hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Pitch is popped up. Olsen in foul ground, two down. Now with the now plate that. is Taylor Number Ward. Three. His prior history in this matchup. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. First offering on its way. 
And a fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Here's the pitch. Popped high in the air. Kemp is there for it. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Angels go down one, two, three. The score remains tied one to one. Aaron Slager gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 57, Aaron Slager. Last half of the seventh here. Digging in now, Ramon Moriano. The center fielder, number 22. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The 1-0. He is swung on and missed in that strike one. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. The one two. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And he'll lunge forward to make the catch for the first out. Yeah, the designated hitter. The plate now is the designated hitter. Mark Cannon yeah, no. last time up he was hit by a pitch. First offering. Ball. Ball one, no strike. The 1 0 home. Now Canna smacks one to left. Lots of carry on this one. And they have taken the lead. It's a solo shot for Mark Canna. Home run number five on the year. And the A's have grabbed a two to one lead. That ball was absolutely blasted. 113 miles an hour off the bat, according to show track. As you see the distance there, that's one that will get people talking. At the plate now, the Seth Brown. The left fielder. As he'll take a look at a high strike here on the outside corner, it's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Wind up and the 0 1. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. He's going to have to figure out a way to get out of the middle of the plate. Just gave up a big bomb right there, and now he's missing right down the heart of the plate again. Could spell trouble for him. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Just tied him up with that last now pitch. Pretty it. evident right by the field. swing. Sometimes Deep guys bad. get in that protect mode so much it's that they're swinging it. at everything that they see, and they end up offering it pitches that they can't possibly do anything with. Outfielder Steven Piscotti the next to hit. As he puts it on the ground to third. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We're through seven this afternoon. It's now two to one A's. Adam Kolara has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 21, Adam Kolara. Back to the top of the Angels lineup now and stepping in. Jose Iglesias. 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch so far. Down by 1. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense. Especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run. Just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. Oh, 01 rip down the first baseline scooped up and he'll step on first himself for the out. 
the left. And hey, if the first baseman is playing straight up there, that's probably a double down the line. But in order to prevent that late in the game, they had him guarding the line, and it obviously worked out perfectly. At the plate, John Jay, as he connects on the first pitch with a fly ball to center. Loriano is there now, and he has it, two gone. Now, that, now with the plate, David Fletcher, no hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he swings right over the top of this one, nothing and one. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0 and 2. Now some action in that Oakland bullpen as it looks like a lefty started to get it going down there. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Wow, you never want the tying run on base, especially that way. Looked like he lost his release point, and the ball ran inside until it caught him. Now we'll see if he can work around it. Shohei Otani digging in next as he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. A one pitch on its way. Rip down the line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. Oh, but the feed to the shortstop is off the mark. And he will score now from first. And the throwing mistake there, getting the ball in, is going to wind up costing him. You know, D. Rowe, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. And I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Standing in now, Jared Walsh as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's two for four. He also has one home run. Ready with the 0 and 1. Nope, at the ball. One ball. Go ahead, right. runs in scoring position here with two down. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss there, and it's two and two. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. He's set. The 2-2. Two -two. Now a ball lined to the left side. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Counts even at two. The pitch. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with two down. Fouled off. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at-bats, you start to get into swing mode. And he struck him out, so he was forced to make nine pitches that at-bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Bounce it, just bounce it. Everybody wanna come, I'm an outside.
announcing it. I'm always gonna get it, I'm always gonna get it. Even if you sit back denouncing it. But I'll come hang now with it be a cool ride. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Yeah, but that'll bring up Sean the Murphy. Sean Murphy. First offering on its way. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Too much dip on the sinker. Laid off for a ball. One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. The count now at two and two. Popped him up. Ward over to his right. Makes the play, one away. Here's Elvis Andrus That's now. Over three with Elvis. a couple of strikeouts for him to this Andrew. point in the ballgame. First offering. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. Yeah, you take a look at that two-seamer right there. Sinker had nasty downward plane on that ball. That thing must have gone down at least six inches. A shortstop behind with a one and two count. Bases are empty, one man out. To two balls and two strikes now. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. Two gone. No batter. Number five. Next to hit, Tony Second Kemp has got a hit in three Tony. at bats to this point. Yes. Now here's the first offering. Looked like he went around that time. They'll appeal down to third. And yes, sir, it's strike one. Into the wind, the 0-1. Oh, He's gone to the well with that pitch three times in a row. I'm interested to see if he changes it up right here. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. So a full count now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Ready now, the payoff pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, a diving stop. The throw. Wow. Three thumbs up here in the booth following this gorgeous play at second base. More from the East Bay right after this. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Kurt Suzuki. Kurt Suzuki. From the stretch. Here comes the 0 1. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. 
Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you could do with that. Textbook sinker. Anthony Rendon steps into the on-deck circle now looking to start something here with one gone in the inning. Anthony Rendon. Now the first pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Piscotti on his horse. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Mike Your Trout gets lead. the call as a pinch hitter, and he'll get a chance with two out and the Number bases empty. Mike Trout. He's set. Here it comes. And then misses inside 1 0. The numbers on the year 272, 13 home runs, and 31 RBIs. The set and the 1 0. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Center fielder coming on. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Nothing across here this half. The A's look to send their fans home happy. Bottom of the ninth coming up. Your Mike Trout will stay in the ballgame as he takes over in center. For the Angels. Now playing center field. Number Rysel Iglesias comes Mike. on to work now, and he's their Trout. usual closer, but this is obviously Angels. not a save Number opportunity. 32. Yeah, and this Rysel. is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to right. come in and close a game Number out for 10. several days Nothing. now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Leading up for the A. Now to the plate Third here is pitch. Matt Chapman. Matt. He comes in one Chapman. for two with that home run he hit earlier. Here's the first pitch. And that fastball's taken, but catches the outer third. A great job pounding the zone strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you gotta get ahead. Count leverage is a must. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. I know he didn't smoke that one from the offensive standpoint, but you know what? A knock's a knock, especially to lead off an inning. Game tied, and it's getting late. That could prove to be pivotal. So now to the plate, Matt Olson, as he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. The winning run is at first base. The 0-1. And this is low, ball two, two and one. And he wouldn't have made contact with that one with an oar. It's two and two. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. Good battle. Count remains full.
Ready with another two strike offering. Now a drive to right field. This could do it. Game over. Walk off home run. So a two-run homer down the line in right. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Well, they say better late than never. And that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. to two the final score today the athletics came through and it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win Adam Kolarik gets the win in relief his second of the year so that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Wachney and our whole crew I'm Matt Vaskersian you've been watching MLB the show for more head to the show.com our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Athletics. Four runs on six hits. No errors. They left four men on base. For the Angels, two runs on three hits. No errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please Drive home safely.